I created this quick video to show you how you can use Brainboard to design, deploy and manage all your cloud infrastructures. Brainboard is a collaborative solution, so you can invite all your team members to join the organization, either by specifying their email address and their roles, then creating different teams here, specify the name, the admin and the members, and then create different projects. Brainboard is also a multi-cloud solution, meaning, for example, here, we support the big three, Azure, with all the cloud resources that you can see here. Everything that you are used to do on Terraform, you can do it on Brainboard as well. AWS. And, for example, GCP. Of course, as you can see, you, you can also use OCI and scale away. On Brainboard, you have three ways to get started, either by using templates, so here two ways, either you want to use the pre-existing templates that we have created for you, here these are all the templates for Azure, for example, for AWS, for GCP. You can also convert all your cloud infrastructures into reusable templates for our team to consume. This is the first way. Second way, you can build your infrastructure, you design, the Terraform code will be automatically generated from it, and then you run the CI-CD for costs, security, and you deploy it from Brainboard. So here, I can help you do that. And then you do the import. Here, you, we support GitHub, ADO, Bitbucket, GitLab. You can also import your valid Terraform code as a file and you can upload as you can see multiple files and here for example for azure let's say that you have legacy infrastructure and that you would like to write the terraform code instead of spending some time writing it you simply need to set up your credentials and then brainbow will get access to your subscription scan it and then you will be able to convert all of these cloud resources into terraform to do that simply need here to set up your credentials for AWS by specifying all of these fields. If you have any questions, you, we have also the doc here to help you do that. Then here for Azure, all of these fields, you need to complete them. GCP, Scaleway and OCI. In terms of integration, we support, like you have seen it, GitHub, but we also support ADO, Bitbucket, and GitLab. For them, you can, of course, import directly from there, or you can even push it to your repo by doing a pull request. In terms of modules, we support them. So here, you simply need to specify the module name, and you have three ways, three sources of the import, registry, git, of files. Once it's imported, you will be able to build your own module catalog here and then consume them. So here we switch to Azure. So we also support all the variables. So here you can define variables either at the organization level, project, environment, architecture. We also support locals. So you can create your locals, output, in terms of Terraform backend, you have two ways. Here, you can either set up and use AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, Terraform Cloud, or Breadboard backend. This is at the organization level. You can also specify a remote backend per architecture. Go to Settings, and here, choose again S3, Blob Storage, Terraform Cloud, Breadboard backend. In terms of Terraform configuration, Terraform version, you can find find them all here and here for example pin it as latest so now I also wanted to show you the training so here is to help you get started so let's follow them let's follow these steps start so we switch to AWS so here we simply need to write route table association is this one drag and drop it here once you drag and drop it in the design you have the ID count 
with the documentation to help you configure this resource. Here, automatic inheritance, as you can see. Next task, we have AWS route. Is this one, something to choose it here. Close the configuration. So this one is the ID card. You need to configure it. You need to use it to configure all of these resources, either require parameter, advanced configuration, extra attributes with the meta argument of Terraform, and exported attributes. Now we can close it. Again, everything that you do on the design will be automatically reflected on your Terraform code. As you can see, I didn't need to write a single line of Terraform code. Everything has been written for me. Here we run Terraform commands. So here, click on one action and then Terraform validate. Of course, we support Terraform, all of the Terraform commands, Terraform for example, plan, Terraform validate, Terraform apply, Terraform destroy. So here we will have the output. And here, as you can see, the configuration is valid. Next task. We, co we need to configure the CI CD, so we are going to design it. So here we go there new workflow, we call it default. Here, these are all the tasks that we can use. These are all open source. For example, here you can use TFSEC, you can use InfraCost, you can use pull requests. So you can design your own CI CD from the Terraform validate to the Terraform apply. So you can also provision the infrastructure directly from Brainboard. Here, we need to follow the step, select the TSSEC plugin. We configure it. Here, we run the pipeline. So as you can see here, we have the output of this task, so of the TFSEC. I really like it because once you generate the Terraform code from the design, you run TFSEC. TFSEC will actually detect any potential vulnerabilities on your Terraform code, as you can see here. And then you have the documentation to help you complete and to help you make your infrastructure more secure. So here, we follow the next task. We go back to the design and we are good to go. So it's very simple. If you need either me, you can ping me directly on LinkedIn, or if you need the help of the team, you can ask us anything here. And we have also here the documentation that you can use. For example, here, let's say that you would like to manage multiple environments on Brainboard, then you can do that here. So we want to help you build your own cloud infrastructure directly on Brainboard. So I hope this video has been useful for you and as always, ping me and share feedback with me. Have a great day.